the actual trail is called No Dogs Trail. So I guess that answers that. All right, here's an excellent outcrop of the Monterey Formation. This is Monterey Shale. Great outcrop. We can see a lot of details and bedding in here. Let's take a closer look. Do you see the layering in there? This is a sedimentary rock. These layers were laid down one on top of the other. In what environment would you have similar grain size of sediment packed one on top of the other? Uh, no clue. Can, can you give me a hint? Well, there's a big fat blue hint for you. Think about rivers that bring sediment to the oceans. Now rivers are great at sorting out different size sediment. Obviously the bigger rocks fall out of a river first when it kind of loses its velocity. Then you lose gravels, then you lose sand, then you lose clays and muds, right? So when a river goes out into that ocean, the clays and the muds are gonna go furthest out there. And so if you go out into the deep ocean, you're gonna get layer after layer of very fine grained uh, sediment. And that's where all this shale came from. This was under the ocean at one time, a couple thousand feet under the ocean. Uh, oh, okay, okay, I get it. I saw some like orange. Okay, you're talking about this orange stuff right here. Okay, yeah, this orange stuff is actually iron oxide. It's basically rust. So more than likely when you see orange in a sedimentary rock like that, that's rust, that's iron oxide. Is that, is that black stuff? Is that, are those fossils? Oh, okay, so you're talking about these kind of black, leafy looking things, are those plant fossils? They're actually not. They're the element manganese. And when they form in this way, like almost like crystals going through the shale, uh, they're called uh, manganese dendrites. And uh, once everything settles down, they kind of get frozen in the rock just like that. And they do sometimes look like little leaves but they're not. Here's another example of the manganese dendrites. You can see how they almost look like little leaves, like a fern or something. But don't be fooled, that's not a plant fossil. Just manganese dendrites. Manganese dendrites, okay, I got that. Um, you said that these layers were laid down one on top of the other, but these are all curvy, so um, how did that happen? Curvy, huh? That's a good eye. You're right. These were originally laid down horizontal, which means that some force acted upon them after they were laid down. That could be a different combination of things that could have happened. It could have been when they were still malleable layers under the water, they slumped over in, in, a, in kind of a landslide and stayed in that position and then got lifted up for me to see today. Or it could have been later. It could have been plate tectonics and they're just getting pushed and folded and like, ah. So just think of that. These were all laid horizontally and look at, now they're fully curved. And look at this section over here. It's almost vertical. So it went from horizontal and then got pushed, ah. Right? Or it could have been, it slumped down uh, when it was still malleable underwater and, and then just was frozen that way now. Beautiful example of the Monterey Shale. All right, I've been hiking up here. It's been just the Monterey Shale, but check this out. I see a rock. Something changed right here. Hello, biker. Goodbye, biker. Anyway, I pulled this out and look what it is. I think this is glaucophane schist, if I'm saying that right. It's blue, it's a schist, it's part of the uh, San Onofre Breccia formation, which I've done a lot of videos on. This is like my favorite rock right now, schist. And just look at how it's just decomposing, you know? It's just been through so much and I'm just crushing it with my bare hands. Glaucophane? Glaucophane, is that how you say it? You know, I read it so much, but then when you're like, go on video and then you're up to say it, it just doesn't sound right, glaucophane. Is that correct? I think it is. I climbed up the hill a little bit and I ran into our old friend, the Topanga Sandstone. This guy's been through a lot though. Look at all these fractures, but definitely a sandstone. Different from the shale, definitely not the San Onofre Breccia because it doesn't have the, the schists in it. This might be uh, schist grains, like right there, glaucophane, schist little grains, but it's a, this is a sand stone. Excellent, let's keep moving. Do you see my friend? He's enjoying the geology as well. Every time I wear this hat, it always looks like I have a big round head. See it? Rattlesnake season. Check out this belly drag. 
across the trail. I came around the corner and I found a rabbit on the trail and he's quite relaxed. Look at this guy, just laying on his stomach, legs all sprawled out right in the center of a trail with mountain bikers coming down like a boss. Can you tell me which way the trail goes? Hello? Wiggle your nose twice. Or your ears, that'll work too. Follow the tracks. I think I found my culprit. Stink bug. You stank. You know, that's kind of like a hasty generalization to say that all stink bugs stank. So just wanted to point that out. Just want to apologize to all the stink bugs watching. You don't all stank. You choose to stank when you stank. And it's usually when someone's bothering you. So I apologize. All right, I made it to the ridge top. And from this location, you're getting a little peekaboo view by uh, Santiago Peak back there, Saddleback Mountain. That's part of the Peninsular Ranges, connected all, really with the Sierra Nevada. It's because of that that this whole area got lifted up, coupled with the sea level dropping. That's why I'm able to stand on dry ground right now. And if you don't know, now you know. Behold, the wonderful Grand Pacific Ocean to the west here. And way out in the distance, 26 miles across the sea, is Catalina Island, which you can't see. I don't know why I'm bringing that up, because you can't see it. Did I just hear a California towie? What's that? We should move on? Right out. Well, here's something interesting. Uh, check out this landscape. Now, do you see how we've got coastal brush on that little mount there? And all of a sudden, boom, it changes to all this grass and then mainly grass on that one, and then boom, changes to other shrubs. That's basically telling you how the geology of this area changes. Different plants will grow better in different types of soil based on the mineral content and things like that. So you can actually tell if formations change, even if you can't see them, just based on the patterns of the plant life. Man, I was making fun of that stink bug for stinking. I'm halfway through this hike. Whew. I think I stank. California quail telling us to move on. Okay, you can see some bedding layers there in the side of that little mountain. That's the Topanga sandstone. These are sandstone blocks getting eroded away. And if you can use your imagination, these used to all be continuous, right? So you can almost see like here's a block that just kind of slumped over, right? And then the little river creek is taking advantage of that and then digging that down. Here's another block. And then it continues on that side. And then mountain bikers appear out of nowhere with bells to warn you that they're coming. That was nice. <laughs> that was cool. Did you guys hear the Doppler effect on that bell? And then it continues on that side. And then mountain bikers see there's science everywhere <laughs> and there's flies everywhere. Topanga sandstone. See all the greens are pretty much the same size. This was deposited at a coastal region. And the red there is again iron oxide or rust. Here's another wolf spider. Let's see if we can coax it out of its tunnel. Here's a dinner bell ringing. Oosh, that's a big boy. We can't. Ah! Oh. oh man, look at the size of that guy. Ooh. They move so fast. My goodness. I should have gotten a longer stick. <laughs> you, know, you know, it was funny because I was watching the video on my phone and I was zoomed in. So when he came out of there, <laughs> it looked like he was on my arm already. Oh man. For the record, I just want to point out that you, you did scream like a little baby. Well, I want to thank you for joining me on this hike. I think we saw some pretty interesting things. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.